Is Google not crawling and indexing your brand new content? I'm going to show you right now three ways that you can help Google find and index your content much faster. Let's go do it. All right, so to show you how to get your website pages indexed much faster, I'm going to use this website in exactly this article that you're seeing right here, how to train your cat to walk on leash. Beautiful article we wrote for uh, cats. Uh, so how to know if your article is not being indexed? Let's, let's start with that. So one thing you can do is just type in the browser address site colon and the address. And if you see this, you're going to see uh, that it's not being indexed. It says your search, the URL did not match any documents. If this blog post was being indexed, you would see the results here. This page is not indexed, so that's why you're not seeing it there. What can you do? So what we're going to do first is we're going to have it indexed by asking Google to crawl and index the article for us. So for this, we're going to use Google Search Console. So when you go here, it's really simple. Just go to the top where it says inspect any URL in perfectwhiskers.com and just enter the URL that you want to have crawled and indexed and just hit enter. And then Google is going to start retrieving data. And as, as you can see, it says the URL is not on Google. Sometimes you will get some uh, information on why this is not being indexed. Right now it just says crawled currently not indexed. This is a pretty common error. I have another video that will help you understand what you can do to fix this issue. But for now, let's just ask Google. All we have to do is click here where it says request indexing. And and then Google Search Console is going to run some tests on the live URL to make sure that it can be indexed. If it can't be indexed because of technical issues, it'll tell you right here. But usually it will just analyze and let you know if it's all good to go. As you can see right now, everything passed, the test passed. So it's submitting and indexing has been requested. So all you have to do is wait. Usually this takes a couple of days for the content to be indexed. If there are no issues, as I mentioned with the page, all you have to do is wait. That's it. If you only want to have one URL indexed, you can use Google Search Console perfectly. But what if you have a lot of URLs that you need to have indexed because they are not being even crawled by Google? Let me show you one tool that you can use to have a lot of URLs that are not being crawled and indexed be picked up by Google faster. Let's go see. It. All right, so the tool we're going to be using is called Tag Parrot. What it does is that it connects to your Google Search Console and instead of sending one URL at a time, as we did it directly in Google Search Console, you can send a lot of different URLs to get crawled and indexed by Google. Of course, TechPerrot is not a free tool, but it's really affordable. If you go to pricing, you have a small plan, which is $11 a month. You get three websites and you can index up to 200 pages per day, which is you know more than enough. And it's really good. So if you only have one website or maybe a couple of them, this plan is perfect and it's only $11. So it's really good. Let's jump into my dashboard and show you how it works. All right. So as I said, TechPerrot connects directly to your Google Search console account it'll pull all of the websites that you have there and you can activate whichever you want from the list based on the plan that you have so if you have the small plan you get three websites that you can connect to your tag parrot account what it does is that it pulls the site map from google search console and then goes through all of the pages that you have on your website and determines which pages are not being indexed and you can send them get indexed here and you can actually see even those that are indexed so when you click here where it says 133 which is the number of pages i have on my website you're going to see some some information related to the Google index status. So according to this, 59 pages have been submitted and indexed by Google, but there are 74 URLs which have been crawled, but currently not indexed. So instead of grabbing all of these one by one, in fact, the one that we just did manually should be here as well within this list. But instead of doing one by one directly on Google Search Console, you can just click here and select the ones that are crawled, currently not indexed. So all of these blog posts, they're brand new, so they haven't been indexed yet by Google. They have been crawled, but not indexed right now. So instead of doing one by one directly in Google Search Console, we're just going to select them all, click here, and it's going to tell me to index for 74 pages on Google. Click start. We're going to click and it's going to start processing the indexing request to Google. So this is much, much faster than doing one by one. Uh, if you only have like a couple of pages that you need to have indexed on Google, just do it directly on Google Search Console. But if you have several of them, this is a great tool, really cost effective. It connects directly to Google Search Console so you know which pages are not being indexed and you can request the index directly through here. It also has the auto index feature, which automatically every day will check which pages are not currently indexed and it'll automatically send the indexing request so you don't have to do anything else. Once it's finished, again, all you have to do is wait for the process 
to end and wait for Google to index the pages. I mean, you can't force Google to have your pages indexed, but this is one of the easiest ways that you can have Google recrawl your website, your pages, and have them indexed. All you have to do is wait, give a couple of days, maybe a week, and those pages should start showing up in Google search. Now, what if you have some pages that you want Google to index, but they are not on your website? You maybe wrote a guest blog on another website. Maybe you've got some backlinks and you want those URLs to get indexed by Google, but you don't own the website, so you don't have access to Google Search Console. So how can you get those pages indexed on Google? I'm going to show you another tool that does not require you to connect Google Search Console. In other words, you can have Google index any URL that you want, even if it's not on your own website. Let me show you that. Right now. The tool we're going to be using, it's called Omega Indexer. It's really simple to use. Again, it's not a free tool. You do have to pay for it, but it's not that expensive. If you go to down to pricing, one credit, equals one link. In other words, there's one indexing request per link and it costs two cents. They have a minimum deposit of $20. So basically it's $20 per month and you get 1000 link indexing requests that you can do. Yeah, uh, it's not a lot, $20 to make sure that your website is being indexed correctly. Even if it's a website that you're not controlling backlinks, this is really good. So let's jump into my dashboard and I'll show you how it works. All right. So it's really simple to use. All you have to do is create a campaign go to new and then enter a campaign name here you can enter whatever it reminds you of what the indexing request is about so usually i just enter the name of the domain which is easier for me to remember perfect whisper .com. and you have the option to treat feed the indexing request through several days so you can do one through 30 days so if you have like a lot of links you want to index maybe over a thousand or 500 you might want to spread it out through some days, maybe do 50 per day and just do it by 10 days. If you're going to do like 500, for example, but usually if you're only going to do, you know, one, five, 20, uh, indexing requests, you can pretty much do it in one day. So just leave it like that. I always do it in one day. I've never had an issue. Just know that if you're going to do a lot of indexing requests, you might want to spread it out through several days. So it kind of feels natural. Next, you have the option to drop a text file with the links one per line or just paste it here, which is usually what I do. So right now I'm pasting the links here for four of the blog posts that are not being indexed. And all you have to do is click on submit and that's it. So it'll take some time for this to start working. It says here links appear on search engine results within seven to 15 days. So you have to give it time. If you go to your dashboard, you're going to see how many links you have submitted for indexing in the last month or so, how many campaigns you're running, how many credits you have, how many links you submitted, and then you have the live indexers. So it's how many indexing bots they have sending out your links to Google. So it's really simple to use. Again, it all has to do with patience. Once you send it out, there's nothing else you can do. Give it a week, check if your pages are being indexed. If not, give it another week, wait for the 15 days. And if again, they're not being indexed for any reason, make sure to run an SEO audit to see if there are any issues with the pages you're trying to rank. Generally speaking, this should work in about one or two weeks. So there you have it. Three simple ways you can use to have Google index the pages of your website so you can start ranking much faster. Now, you maybe didn't know this, but if someone does a Google image search, the images on your website can also show up on search results and drive more traffic to your website. But for this to work, you need to make sure that the images on your site are optimized with the alt tag and ideally have them be optimized for SEO. Check out this next video where I'm going to show you how you can use an AI tool to generate image alt tags for thousands of images with just one click.